I want to show you, rather briefly, um, an application. Okay? Why it's good to be diagonalizable. Why it's extremely good to be diagonalizable, at least in this specific sense of raising a matrix to powers. Okay? So, let's start with the theorem, just stating it, and then we'll understand what the motivation is. So, uh, uh, let A be diagonalizable. Suppose that it is, and we know how to determine if it is. Okay? So, let A be diagonalizable. Let um, alpha 1 dot 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 alpha n be the eigenvalues. Maybe, maybe some are the same. Maybe there are multiplicities here. And let p be the invertible matrix with uh, eigen vectors as columns. The eigen vectors corresponding to the to the alphas. Okay? So so we know, we know that, um, maybe let's write that, so uh, D, the diagonal form, equals P inverse AP, right? That's the, and we know how to, how to reach this stage. We know how to determine if it's possible, and if it is, how to find P and D and alphas and everything. Okay. Then, so here's the, the, the statement, the statement. Suppose you want to take A and raise it to the power K. Raising it to the power K means multiplying it by itself K times. If K is 2, if K is 2, it's just A times A. You don't need this theorem. You just do A times A and you won't go into all this trouble. But if K is 100, Doing a to the power 100 is multiplying a by itself 100 times. That's kind of a lot of work, right? Kind of a lot of work. So the theorem tells you, here's a shortcut. a to the power k is p times d, the diagonal one, to the power k. So I'm going to write it like this, alpha 1 to the power k, alpha 2 to the power k, dot, 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 alpha n to the power k, and zeros, and then p inverse. So if you've already found the alphas and found p, you need to calculate p inverse once. That you do need to do. And then this is just a very simple thing to do. Take the alphas, raise them to the power k. That's a number. If alpha 1 is 2, 2 to the power k, whatever k is, that's the number that's going to sit here. Okay? And then you only have to multiply three matrices. This one times this one times this one. That's it. Okay? So it really pays off if k is big. Okay, if k is a big number, this really pays off. There's only one finding, in finding one invertible matrix, finding the alphas and so on, and then the multiplication is just three products. Uh, two products, this times this and then times this. Okay, good? So there's a trade-off. It's not necessarily good if k is small, but if k is big, this is very useful. Very useful. Okay, but it only works if a is diagonalizable. Okay, let's prove this. Let's see why this is true. Okay, so do you understand the motivation? Do you understand what I, why I'm saying that if A is diagonalizable, it's easier to handle than the general matrix? Okay, A itself, not the diagonal form, A itself is easier to handle once you know it's diagonalizable. Okay, so here's the proof. Let's... 
let's denote D to be the diagonal form, right? D is the matrix with the alphas across the main diagonal. Okay. And we know that D is P inverse AP. Right? These are the two facts, the data. Okay. Now, first of all, what is D to the power K? So, raising a, um, a diagonal matrix to a power, think of what we're doing. What is D squared, for example? D times itself. So the entry, any diagonal entry, would be this row times this column. So it would just be raising that entry to the power 2. And any off-diagonal entry, they're not going to, it's going to be 0, right? The, the, the alpha from row 1, for example, is going to hit a 0 in any column other than column 1. And the result is just going to be 0. Do you agree? So d to the power k, and that holds for 2, likewise it holds for any k. So d to the power k is just alpha 1 to the k, alpha 2 to the k, all the way up to alpha n to the k. Do you agree? Okay, so raising a diagonal matrix to a power, that's extremely easy. Okay. Therefore, therefore, or on the other hand, d to the power k, d was p inverse a p to the power k, right? And what is this thing? It's just writing it k times, right? So p inverse a p times p inverse a p dot 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 times p inverse ap, k times. Do you agree? Now, uh, this is just a very long product of matrices, but matrix uh, multiplication is associative. We can multiply them in any order as long as we don't commute, as we don't change the, we, we can do the multiplication in any order we can't multiply them, we can't change the, the order of where they appear in this product, right? So in particular, this P and this P inverse cancel. Do you agree? And this P and this P inverse cancel. All the way to here. So what we're going to be left with, what we're left with is p inverse, all the p and p inverses in the middle canceled out, so we're left with a to the power k, p. Do you agree? Okay. So p inverse a to the power k, p, equals d to the power k, which is in turn this thing, right? So if we multiply both, if we multiply from Multiply by P from the left and by P inverse from the right on both, it's still going to be equal. So multiplying by P from the left and by P inverse from the right, here we just get A to the K, and here we get P this P inverse. And that's precisely the statement of the theorem. A to the K equals P this P inverse. Good? Everybody good? Okay. So that was, that was this short uh, statement. It's an application. Okay. I can do an example, but you can just do an example on your own, right? Take a matrix, raise it to some power. Not, well, in fact, if you want to see which is better, take a matrix, maybe a 3 by 3 one. Okay. Try raising it to the power 17 once by multiplying it by itself 17 times and the second time by finding it still work there's no it doesn't become a zero work uh, sort of thing you still have to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors and therefore find p and then find p inverse and then do the multiplication of p 
times this times P inverse, okay? And after you do it, tell me which was easier. And if you're not convinced, do it with K equals 17,000. Tell me which was easier. I did it. The second option is easier. Okay, good, <laughs> good. Okay, so that's, that's, we'll stop. I know it, it's kind of weird, right? One was very long and then this is very short, but that's, uh, that's what happened. Okay, so, uh, good.